Hi everyone and welcome today. Today what we're going to do is a proclamation for National Breastfeeding Week 2023, which begins October the 1st to the 7th. We're very pleased today in Council to have some babies with us. Baby Hazel. Let me speak. One of our volunteer firefighters. Melissa. Lactation consultant. Chantel. Chantel. Jennifer Byrne with the Family Resource Center. And we have little Ethan. Hi Ethan. And Adam. Adam, our inspector with the Town of Liberty City Fire Department. So welcome everybody. As a municipality, it's very important that we recognize all any proclamations that come through that we believe in, and we certainly believe in in uh, National Breastfeeding Week. Uh, National Breastfeeding Week this year is enabling breastfeeding, making a difference for working parents. Uh, pretty much the overview is the Government of Canada has recognized National Breastfeeding Week as an official health promotion week. Um, the National Breastfeeding Week is celebrate October the 1st to the 7th. Why October? Always interesting facts to know. Uh, it is the 10th month of the year and symbolizes the first week of a baby's life after nine months of pregnancy. When a, nine months of pregnancy, when a baby would begin to breast, chest be fed. Each year, a global theme is developed by the National Alliance for Breastfeeding Action. At this year's theme, enabling breastfeeding, making a difference for working parents, Focus, focusing on breastfeeding and employment slash work. It will showcase the impact of paid leave, workplace support, and emerging parenting norms on breastfeeding through the lens of parents themselves. Enabling breastfeeding makes a difference for working parents. And I'm sure that's physically, mentally, and otherwise uh, in, a, in a family. I know we've come a long way as a community and as a province and as a country uh, from six month maternity leave, now we're up to 18 months, and some have paid leave and some have don't. So we've come a long way, but with that becomes these type of support groups that makes it bigger and expands and it gives the facts to um, make us better. So we want to be a baby friendly Newfoundland. I'll hand it over to Councillor Pike now to give us a little bit more information. All right, enabling breastfeeding. The majority of can Canadians have access to adequate parental leave. Unfortunately, for financial reasons, not everyone is able to take advantage of these benefits. It may be surprising to know that one number one reason for weaning after three months is you to return to work. That needs a change. Breastfeeding in a friendly workplace offers flexible work patterns and reasonable break times to express breast milk or breastfeed as needed. Offers access to private, clean, comfortable, and safe place to express and store milk. Offers a variety of supports to help parents reach their goals. Breastfeeding is also healthy for the economy. Businesses that support their breastfeeding employees report increased job satisfaction, increased retention of experienced employees, and reduction in sick time taken for children's illness. In short, everyone benefits. Policies and programs that support breastfeeding should be prioritized since the cost of not breastfeeding can create a significant human and economic strain. Breastfed infants can save a family's time and money by avoiding health care costs, lost work time, and reduced hospital visits. Thank you, Councillor Pike. Uh, if I look in the little boxes down below and in an effort to educate yourself, you're going to read what you can on it. So there's a lot of good information here, and I suggest that everybody uh, start looking at um, on looking it up if you're not really sure on it. So you got Baby Friendly NL as well. Uh, if I look at this quote down below, it says, to fully protect breastfeed, to fully protect Breastfeeding, it must be considered a public health issue that requires investment at all levels. And that's truly important. So it's at all levels and that starts at municipality level. Employers have a duty to accommodate women and respect to breastfeed, with respect to breastfeeding. Again, that comes a long way. Um, and as complicated as people make it sound, it's not that complicated to uh, be involved. But if you're unsure how to do it, we certainly have our... Uh, Lactation consultant behind us who can help with that or lead you in the right direction for anybody who are still concerned about that. So we will do the proclamation. Whereas breastfeeding is recommended for optimal, optimal nutrition and healthy growth and development in the early months and years of life and is fundamental to the well-being and prosperity of communities. Whereas breastfeeding has an impact on lifelong health with exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months and continued breastfeeding for two years and beyond, ensuring that mothers and children receive maximum health benefits. 
Whereas breastfeeding is one of the most cost-effective prevention strategies for many infections and chronic acute diseases. Whereas infant feeding is one of the most important decisions that a new family makes. Whereas parents need the support of family, friends, government and health authorities, municipalities, community groups and organizations, businesses and employers. Whereas National Breastfeeding Week provides an opportunity for people to celebrate and to raise public awareness about the importance of breastfeeding and the role everyone can play in normalizing breastfeeding. Whereas the theme of National Breastfeed Breastfeeding Week 2023 is enabling breastfeeding, making a difference for working parents. The theme focuses on the impact of paid leave and workplace support on the duration of breastfeeding and the positive impacts for parents, children, and families. Therefore, I, Belinda Adams, Mayor of the Town of Labrador City, proclaim October 1st to 7th, 2023, National Breastfeeding Week in Newfoundland and Labrador, specifically the Town of Labrador City. Sign that. I really like this. Uh, this comes on the back uh, for me uh, being in Goose Bay last week for um, Atlantic Mayor's Congress, and we actually visited a farm where they're talking about food insecurity. So when you talk about food insecurity and what what a community can do and what a, a municipality would do, one of the things that did come up in that uh, Congress when we talked about food insecurity, especially around Labrador, it's getting tougher but for food insecurity. One of the things that came up is. Um, you know, when you make donations or from a municipality, can you take it out of pay stubs and, you know, get donations that way? And one of the things that did come up is if we get this right on being able to breast, breastfeed and make it, uh, opportunities for families to go longer, be subsidized from it, and that piece, that food insecurity, that plays a little bit of a part of this is breastfeeding. So I appreciate everybody coming here today and asking us to do this. And as a community and as a municipality, we certainly support it. So October 1st to the 7th, National Breastfeeding Week in Labrador City. Thank you.